Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. With a range of over 110 kilometers and a maximum speed of Mach 4.5, the Astra Mark 1 is seen as a game changer which can bring back India's air-to-air -air combat superiority over Pakistan. But is that enough as Chinese PL-15 missile and its export variant PL-15E has range in excess of 145 kilometers and it is still a threat for Indian Air Force as Pakistan is expected to get P-15E missiles with J-10C Chinese fighters. Considering the increasing threat, DRDO is also working on extended range Astra Mark II and Astra Mark III missiles. In today's video, we will be covering some of the important updates related to Astra series of missiles. Astra Mark I is a BVR missile powered by a smokeless, single-stage, solid fuel propulsion system that can propel the missile to a speed of Mach 4.5 and allows operation from a maximum altitude of 20 km. The maximum range of Astra is 110 km in head-on chase mode and 20 km in tail chase mode. As per the director of ADE, Astra is able to track and direct hit a very low observable target from a distance of 87 km. The target is Bansi, which is just 2 meters by 2 meter, much smaller than an actual fighter jet. As we all know that integration of Astra with Su-30 MKI has been complete. In July 2020, the Defense Minister had approved 248 Astra beyond visual range air to air missiles. Bharat Dynamics Limited has already begun the production of these missiles. At the same time, the integration of Astra with Tejas is also in full swing. We can expect Tejas MK1 trials with Astra Mark 1 in this year. Now, as per the latest report, Indian Air Force is all set to test improved version of Astra Mark 1 missile, which will feature an indigenous radio frequency seeker or RF seeker and it will have a better accuracy and range as compared to an existing one which is borrowed from Russian R-77 missile and is fitted on limited series production units. While Astra Mark 1 will be tested with indigenous RF seeker, Astra Mark 2 is ready for its maiden trial from Su-30 MKI. Astra Mark 2 is a dual pulse variant of Astra Mark 1. The Mark II uses most of the technologies borrowed from successful missiles like DRDO's dual pulse motor from MRSAM and Seeker from Astra Mark I, which gives it a range of 160 plus kilometers in head on chase mode and around 40 kilometers in tail chase mode. For fast track testing and integration of Astra Mark II missiles, DRDO will pre produce 25 missiles and Indian Air Force had already assigned 4 to 5 Su 30 MKI fighter jets that will be upgraded with the latest software patches and will go through minor modifications so that they can be used as a test bed for Astra Mark II development and trials. The missile system will be ready to enter production by 2023. Now, Astra Mark III, which is going to be a very long range, beyond visual range air to air missile, will also start its developmental trials in this year. Astra Mark III will have range in excess of 340 km, which can target strategic aerial assets such as AWOCs, refuelers, and transport aircrafts. Astra Mark III will be the first missile to use SFDR technology. The SFDR is an advanced technology than Ramjet. It is using an air-breathing ramjet engine which can vary thrust according to the requirement, increasing the hit probability. The same technology powers MBDA's famous Meteor missiles integrated with Rafale fighters of Indian Air Force. DIDO has co-developed the solid fuel air-breathing ramjet with Russia and we have seen its recent trial on 8th of April and two more last year. In future, SFDR will also be integrated with Astra Mark II. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.